Hello, this is Brian C., your Marion County Extension Agent, and today we're going to go over how to make a vaccine cooler. You might be asking yourself, well, what is a vaccine cooler and why do I need one? Well, <clears throat> a vaccine cooler is a cooler that is meant to hold the syringes uh, that you have your vaccine in uh, while you're shoot side working cattle. Uh, we all know, or most of us do, that we need to uh, maintain a temperature of 35 to 45 degrees for all of our vaccines. Um, that is throughout uh, from production to uh, injection into the animal. And uh, not only do we need to monitor the temperature within your refrigerator, but we also need to uh, keep the vaccines cool uh, when we have them out in uh, next to the chute and working the cattle. And that is an area where a lot of times folks don't think about or forget and uh, then uh, all that work that you've done up to that point was kind of all for naught and uh, because you can uh, definitely compromise the uh, efficacy of the vaccine uh, by exposing it to sunlight and uh, getting it uh, from out that from uh, 35 to 45 degrees is the safety zone if you get it uh, outside that safety zone of temperature then it, it could definitely be compromised, especially your modified live vaccines uh, where you, know, you have to mix them together and after 30 minutes to an hour, uh, they start to decline uh, in viability pretty quickly. So uh, what we're gonna do today is build a vaccine cooler. It'll uh, have three different holsters to hold three syringes. And uh, where we got the information from is uh, Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service. Their publication is ANSI-3300 and you can find that um, on their website. You can Google it and uh, just uh, do it yourself vaccine cooler and it's really easy to find very comprehensive and I'll be referencing it uh, throughout this uh, project today. So what we need first off is a nine quart cooler. <clears throat> this one, um, I think it costs around 10 to $15. Uh, they're real popular for uh, taking to your lunch, to school or work, but uh, they're the, the perfect size of what we're gonna do, uh, use it for today. So uh, you need one of them. Uh, of course it has a handle and uh, lid that opens from this side. And then you also need a uh, sink uh, drain tailpiece. This is a, a foot long and an inch and a half in diameter. And uh, these are nice. They got a little lip on one end. Uh, this will be the end where the syringe will uh, go into. We've got three of those for the three different syringe holders that we're gonna make. And then we also need an inch and a half uh, hole saw. We need uh, this extension uh, for the hole saw bit so that it can go all the way through the cooler. Um, a straight edge a ruler or a uh, tape type uh, measuring tape here will work. And then uh, a good drill. And a marker helps as well. Okay, now that we have all of our uh, tools and supplies that we need, uh, we need to start measuring to, for the holes to drill in the side of the cooler. So first off, we're gonna wanna find the center of the cooler. I've already made a mark here uh, for the center of the cooler and measure two inches down from the top of the cooler with the lid up. So this is our mark here. And now I'm going to measure from two inches from the top of the cooler and over two and three quarter inches on either side of this center mark. And there we are, we have our three marks made on the cooler where we're gonna drill our holes for our syringe holsters. 
So now we need to make our marks on the back side of the cooler so that once we get this initial hole drilled in the front, we can line up and uh, know where to drill on the back side. Now you can just kind of eyeball it and go about a you know, 45 degree angle uh, to the back of the cooler and the inside and drill it. I've done it that way and it, they didn't turn out perfectly straight. So uh, I would recommend that you uh, measure on the inside uh, to mark your hole uh, to drill. So on the inside, we're gonna find the middle of the cooler again and measure two inches up from the bottom of the cooler on the inside, make that mark, and then measure two and three quarter inches on either side of that middle mark and two inches up from the bottom of the cooler and make that, those uh, marks as well. And then we'll be ready to drill. Okay, now I have the marks made on the uh, front side of the cooler and on the inside. And I believe that now we are ready to get the drill uh, set up and we can start drilling. Now we'll mention you'll want to do this in a place where you won't mind to get uh, some foam uh, and a place for easy cleanup because this foam is messy and it goes everywhere and sticks to everything. So be aware of that. Uh, start out with, uh, you know, do your best to guess at about a 45 degree angle, start your hole and uh, start to drill. with our first hole drilled. As you can see, especially on this tabletop, it's kind of slippery, so you're gonna have to wrestle and maneuver it as best you can um, and get the hole started. And then you can uh, get the, your best angle, it's 45 degree angle that you can. You'll also have to clean out the hole saw in between holes. Okay, now we've got our um, three holes drilled in the center or in the front of the cooler, and we're going to drill uh, onto the inside now. So this is where our drill extension will come in handy. We'll go through the front hole and then line up with our marks on the inside. Okay. 
And again, do your best to estimate at about a 45 degree angle. You may have to hold it a little more straighter than that to get the drill bit started. Okay, so we have our holes drilled on the front. I mean, they're not perfect, but hey, I'm not either. <clears throat> and then our holes coming uh, out the back. So the next part is going to be to put our holsters in and you just slide, get them started in the front. It's gonna be a pretty tight fit, but that's what we want. I'm lined up with the back hole. And there you are. Our first holster is in. See how that fits nice and tight. You could take a knife and clean up these cuts a little bit if you want to. We just put the other two in. There we are, we got all three in. Even them up the best you can, your lid might pop off. You can see the inside there. And the back side. And that's basically it. Now you can uh, put your syringes in these three holders and uh, put uh, ice inside here to try to maintain the temperature from 35 to 45 degrees uh, during the duration of, your, of you working the cattle. Uh, if it's a real hot day or a long day, you know, you'll have to add ice and such as needed. You can also use ice packs. Um, those can work as well. And uh, if you have enough room in here, you can of course put your vaccines, extra bottles inside here. Um, but it might be just as well to have an extra cooler to put those in. It depends on, of course, how much of it that you have. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just, you know, short and simple. There's not much to it, uh, and it's very effective. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, you probably, you'll probably have $25 or so invested in this, not including, your, of course, your tools or anything like that. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, uh, like and subscribe, share, comment, and all those things. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. But wait, there's more. For those of you who hung around this long, if you will like, share, and comment on uh, this video, then you'll be entered to win this vaccine cooler that we've just created. So do that for a for a entry to win, possibly win this cooler. And uh, once we reach, oh, 20 shares on this video, we'll select a winner. Thanks again.